bring in retired Marine Corps General Colonel Oliver North. He is a Fox News military analyst. He is also the host of War Stories, which is right here on Fox News Channel. Thank you so much for joining us. What do you make of these latest developments? Melissa, by the way, I'll take the promotion as long as the pay raise comes with it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Pardon we're me. We're facing, no, no, we're, we're paying the price for eight years of Obama's placid response to real existential threats from both Pyongyang and Tehran. Look, the Obama administration's non-proliferation policy, which they put at the top of the list of things they wanted to do, it was simply a matter of unilateral disarmament. If we disarm, everyone else will. It was mm. fatally flawed pacifist hogwash. The nuclear weapons and ICBMs that North Korea has been testing don't have to be all that accurate because if it's an EMP burst, an electromagnetic pulse burst at the right al altitude, it will shut off electricity for years anywhere in the line of sight of that burst. And finally, time for some hard-nosed reality. The check that ought to be done right now, and it's a good opportunity to do it when it gets to Hamburg for the G20 summit. The nuclear weapons and ICBM programs in North Korea and Iran have been joined at the hip since the Clinton administration, and no one's done anything about it. In the two years since the sanctions on Iran were lifted by the Obama administration and the so-called P5 plus one, we airlifted $1.8 billion in cash to Tehran. And since then, the North Koreans have conducted more ICBM tests, 17 of them, than in the previous two decades, 12. Now, why? Because they had the money to do it, and we sent it to Tehran, and Tehran's been paying for these programs being run by North Korea. Sec third big, big reality, China is not going to help us until Beijing feels the pains. So we've got some options. Number one, you ought to tell the G20 summit when he gets there that any company doing any business whatsoever with the Democratic People's Republic of Korea and Iran cannot do any business in the United States, period. Next, when he meets with Japanese Pr Prime Minister Abe, he ought to tell him quietly that the U.S. will support a change in the Japanese Constitution to acquire nuclear weapons. And by the way, it was written by Douglas MacArthur, so that mm. ought to be an easy fix. Number three, he needs to tell the Chinese, President Xi, it's time for regime change in Pyongyang. Again, this is, these don't need to be publicly announced, but the fat dwarf that they own in Beijing, mm. from Beijing to, to uh, Pyongyang, has to go. And if that yeah. doesn't work, we've got enough conventional ordinance to turn North Korea into an overdone Pop-Tart. And, and you make a great point because folks were arguing about this earlier on the channel. These things may happen and we wouldn't know about them because we're not supposed yeah. to know about the conversations that are going on behind the scenes. One thing exactly. we do know about though, General Vincent Brooks, he was the commander of the U.S. South Korea Combined Forces, saying self-restraint is a choice is all that separates armistice and war. Alliance missile live fire shows we can change our choice when so ordered. Grave mistake for anyone to believe the contrary. What do you think he's, of that response? He's spot on. He's absolutely right. And the, and the Chinese need to know, and I, I think after that they've seen this president now in, in office since January, this is a president who is capable of doing that. And you don't need to do it with nuclear weapons. It can all be done with conventional arms, and it will stop their program. Should, should we shoot down the next test? I mean, that's, I heard a lot of people saying that today. It's obviously very provocative. What do you think? Well, look, they knew that it, there was no warhead on it, I mean, yeah. first of all, because we're watching. Number two, we learn a lot from what they're able to test. In other words, it's if, a great if, point. We let, if we let it go, that's we find point. out what's it for, how, how far can it go. We wouldn't know that if we shot it down. That is a wonderful point. Thank you for coming on, sir. We appreciate Listen, it. Anytime.